was built by a student at my school. Yes, a school where students can build robots, where they can do it on their own and learn from experience. Good evening, my name's Diana. I was born in Mexico. My mother brought me to the United States when I was eight years old. One year after being here, my father passed away. I remember having a hard time and struggling in school, especially using English. My elementary years were harsh. I struggled, I was terrified and stressed. I would go home every day and cry because I couldn't understand the people around me. For years, I let my struggle define me and get the best of my grades until I was inspired by a robot like the one I drove in today. My story is about how Grizzly Robotics in the Ypsilanti STEM Middle College has changed my life. At our STEM Middle College, I'm learning the basics of engineering and the fundamental of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and manufacturing. I build a hydraulic arm and enjoy every moment and experience of learning hands-on. That's what our school allows us to do, and that's what it's all about. Take what you think school is and turn it on its head. We don't just sit in classroom doing busy work, but rather connect to a friendly learning environment that encourages me to work with others, building, designing, and doing teamwork activities. Before the Ypsilanti STEM, sorry. The teachers at my schools are more like mentors. They're always willing to help you if you don't understand. And where students like me are inspired by our teachers. Before the Ypsilanti STEM Middle College and Grizzly Robotics, I was not proficient in science. I always knew I wanted to go to college, but never really had a clear idea of what I wanted to be or how to even get there. The school my robotics team created changed all of that for me. I used to be shy and struggle academically. Now I am dual enrolled and will be graduating high school with 15 college credits. I'm president of National Honor Society, captain of our robotics, award-winning robotics team, and valedictorian of our Ypsilanti STEM Middle College. <laughs> Just a few years ago, I would have told you you were crazy if you would have told me that I would be going to Washington, D.C. and speaking with members of Congress, or even being here tonight and telling you my story on how the Ypsilanti STEM Middle College and FIRST Robotics and Grizzly Robotics also changed my life. So how does an immigrant student who struggled in elementary school, who wasn't proficient in eighth grade, become the valedictorian of a middle college? Well, I should probably back up and explain a little bit about what a middle college is. A middle college blurs the lines between a traditional high school and college. Students come to us at their freshman year. They're with us for five years, and at the end of five years, they graduate with a high school diploma and up to 60 college credits. So when we opened the new school, why were we so bent on developing a middle college? Well, data shows us that students who earn 15 college credits while they're in high school before they graduate are 80% more likely to graduate college with a college degree. Those are huge numbers. And so when our two schools were merging, somebody actually said, geez, you should start a school based upon your successful robotics team. I'm thinking to myself, you gotta be crazy. Who's gonna design a school around a bunch of kids going around the country playing games with robots? Well, not to digress, but a couple weeks ago, I was actually up climbing frozen waterfalls in Michigan, up in the uh, Superior area. Well, while I was dangling around on ice picks, I can tell you, I wasn't thinking about middle colleges, I wasn't thinking about school reform or student success, because if my mind wandered at all, I risked plummeting into the frozen water below with the ice shards that were around me. I can tell you emphatically that I was 100% focused, 100% present on what I was doing. Now, I'm sure you're asking, what does climbing frozen waterfalls and building a STEM middle college have to do with each other? Well, let me connect the dots. We actually did use our robotics team as a model 
to design our new school because as we were running our team for years, we recognized that our robotics kids came to us and they were actually engaged. They worked harder in robotics than they did in school and they actually cared about what they were doing. So it became obvious because we actually had students, if you can believe it, that would come to us as failing students. They would work hard during the season and then they would start failing again after the season. Now, this is a challenge that we had to take on. This is a cycle that needed to be broken. And so we actually, after years of ice climbing and running this robotics teams, I actually kind of figured out that it really isn't about the robots. It really isn't about the competition or the games. It's actually about getting the students to be engaged and present. And it's kind of like, thinking about the best teaching you can think about. When students are engaged and present in a classroom, they're engaged in the teaching and learning, and they're kind of partners with the teacher. If that doesn't happen, students are wandering around, their minds are off all over the place, thinking, geez, when can I go play Angry Birds again? And so we utilized this to build our academy three years ago. And in that time, we've actually had some success. So here are a couple of the metrics that show our success and the impact that we're currently having. When Ypsilanti and Willow Run merged three years ago, the combined graduation rate of those two schools was 69%. Our graduation rate is now 91%. The first year we ran the middle college, our average, gradu or our average daily attendance was 85%. The average daily attendance today is 92%. Now I'm sure everybody's saying, well yeah, you run a middle college. <laughs> it's easy to get middle college students. They're already prepared, they're ready to come to school, they're actually engaged, they're grade level proficient, oh, but you would actually be wrong. Statistics show that 83% of our juniors and seniors that we got as freshmen were not proficient in science. Those big bars, they're not proficient, not students who were proficient. So we're getting students to us that haven't really been successful. So what's going on here? What's, what's causing this? Well, designing programs that engage students and get them to be present in the moment is actually paramount. Kind of like when Diana drove the T-Rex in here and fired it off, I bet for, an instant, you were present on the situation. It actually <laughs> said, geez, what is it? Or maybe it's coming to me. But you were present for that moment. And that's what we try and do with our students. We try and build, using a manufacturing-centered program, opportunities for our students to become engaged and actually present every day in school, which I think is probably why our attendance rate has gone up significantly. Utilizing this, we've gotten questions over the last couple of years as, is it really about the robots? Could you do the same thing without robots? Well, yeah, I think you could. I don't think it's about the robots themselves. I think it's about engaging students. But for us, we use robotics. We use manufacturing. That's our hook. That's what we get to get kids engaged and here every day to be present in our classrooms so that they can actually impact far beyond our classrooms. They actually impact the community where we are changing lives. My school built on first principle has had a huge impact on me. It has inspired me to achieve more than I ever dreamed possible. I will be the first in my family to go to college and where I plan to study biomedical engineering. It is my hope tonight that you will leave with an understanding that anyone can achieve and, we're, and that the model we have created at our school is changing the face of education. The number of students that we get every day that are broken, homeless, and behind grade level are staggering. And we leave with the hope of a better future. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>